In the past 30 minutes, word that flames have jumped containment lines in critical places. Well, here's where the firefight is really ramping up this afternoon in Calistoga. The Tubbs fire just jumped Highway 29 northeast of the town. The city of Sonoma has two big fires closing in just to the east as well. And further north, Geyserville is in danger right now. The pocket fire also jumped a main road and is moving quickly. There are several new developments since, since this afternoon. Cal Fire now saying more than 191,000 acres have burned in wildfires throughout Northern California. The bulk of that damage, Napa, Sonoma, and Mendocino counties. The death toll has also risen to 29 across Northern California, but at last check, at least 463 people are listed as missing in Sonoma County. Our reporters are spread out across the hardest hit areas in the North Bay this afternoon. Let's first start with KPI X5's Devin Feely. He is live in Sonoma County, just northeast of downtown Sonoma. Devin? Yeah, for several days, firefighters have said candidly that they were overwhelmed and undermanned in the face of this massive fire. The fire behind me is raging in the hills above Sonoma County. But four firefighters from Cal Fire this morning were given a mission to hold the line and buy time for reinforcements to get here. The side of that hill is almost fully engulfed. It's nothing short of amazing what one fire engine, 500 gallons of water, and four very determined firefighters can do when they make it their mission to keep the massive blaze burning in the hills above Sonoma at bay. They've been up for a couple of days. They've been working their tails off. They're doing unbelievable work under uh, some tough conditions. Firefighters' first line of defense the rock retaining wall running along the edge of this property on Garricky Road. There they stand guard, eyeing the advancing flames, hoses ready to douse the swirling embers that could spread the fire to the homes at their back. Against seemingly impossible odds, they hold the line, buying time for evacuees to get out and reinforcements in. There's a mandatory evacuation order into effect. Um, my team's job was to start at the top of the hill, bang on doors, door to door, make sure everybody's evacuated. With more help on the ground, firefighters chart a new aggressive strategy, fighting the fire with fire. The backfires do their job, halting the fire's progress. A small victory in what until now has been a largely losing battle. Now, those firefighters did their job and did it heroically. From the original four firefighters who were here this morning and early afternoon, we have now seen dozens of backups come into this area, as well as something we have rarely seen in this area, some air support helicopters dropping fire retarded on the advancing flames. In Sonoma County, Devin Feely, KPIX 5. All right, Devin, thank you. And take a look at this. Sky Drone 5 over the city of Sonoma just a little while ago. You can see it's pretty empty this afternoon. The streets are normally bustling with rush hour traffic at this time. Alan Martin has been uh, on the fire line uh, the past few days. He is back now with us. Alan, we have some trouble spots this afternoon. They'll flare ups again. Yeah, we do, Ken and Liz. Uh, Cal Fire actually admitting its hands are completely full and that the situation could get much worse before it gets better. Now, the deadliest and perhaps the most destructive fire is the Tubbs fire. That's the one that tore across those Santa Rosa neighborhoods. So far, crews have managed to get that Tubbs fire only 10% contained. It's now approaching 35,000 acres. However, it is extremely close to Calistoga. As you say, it jumped the line. Calistoga is completely evacuated. Moving east to the Atlas Fire, more than 43,000 acres have been destroyed between Lake Berryessa and Fairfield. Crews struggling with just 3% containment there. Cal Fire said today that the agency is now getting help from at least eight other states, even from outside the country, as firefighters from Australia are on the way. One positive note, the winds that were anticipated for last night in the North Bay were not quite as bad as expected, so crews were able to take advantage of that. But they say that coming this weekend, the conditions could potentially go downhill in the blink of an eye. All of the incidents are anticipating uh, erratic wind conditions, shifting winds uh, all weekend. And as you might imagine, uh, when the, the wind shifts, it puts pressure on a different part of the fire line. And so they're doing their best to anticipate where those are. Now, if those winds do push the flames along this weekend, it could lead to more evacuations and, of course, destruction across the North Bay. Hopefully by then, the reinforcements will arrive to help shore up the lines. Now, fire crews from other states are making their way into California as we speak. Cal Fire says 8,000 firefighters are on the lines tonight, along with 550 engines, 320 more engines coming from out of state. Ken? 
Alan, thank you for that. Friends and family still waiting to hear back about the hundreds of people still officially unaccounted for in this fire ravaged area. KPI X 5's Emily Turner is live in Santa Rosa with that story, Emily. Yeah, Ken, you know, as those fires continue to rage, there are so many areas that have been evacuated. It's essentially chaos in a lot of places, and these family members are looking for the folks that they love. Here at the fin Finley Community Center in Santa Rosa, there's a list of the missing that continues to grow and changes hour by hour. In fact, I was just inside, and I saw a woman's face taken off of that list because her name was instead moved from the missing to those who are deceased because, yet again, the numbers change. Overnight, the missing has grown to almost 400 who are unaccounted for. Now, they've crossed several names off of the list of more than 1,000 who were reported missing. About 603 of those people have been located safely, which is good news. But 15 names have now been moved to the list of dead, which is heartbreaking as people continue to search for those who are looking for their loved ones. Identification is going to be hard. So far in the recoveries, we have found bodies that were almost completely intact, and we have found bodies that were nothing more than ash and bones. One of the ways that we make IDs in those cases is through medical devices. So there, has been, there have been IDs in this case in a pile of ash and bones where there was a piece of metal left from somebody's surgery, like a hip replacement, with an ID number on it, and that helped us ID the person. And as I mentioned before, the list changes, the numbers change almost hour by hour. If you know someone or you're looking for someone who's missing, you can reach out to this number at the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office. That number is 707-565-3856. We're also in the process of working to put together a list on our Facebook page, which we will be uh, putting together here shortly and then reaching out to you so you can look for that on our Facebook page, KPIX5 as well. Reporting live in Santa Rosa. Emily Turner, KPIX 5.